What's up, guys? No back from the video. Um, say Nary. Uh, we are going to teach you guys today exactly how to rope. Uh, for beginners, if I'd say. Uh, don't. Don't mind the background noise, but I need to go over to my little station right here. Set up for you guys. Should I say Nary or Noah because he knows my name? Uh, <laughs> let me show you guys uh, this land we have behind our house. It's beautiful. <laughs> Good protein for the. We used to have goats here and we'd let them graze. Uh, you see it? You see that land? Beautiful. This is a rope. It's like a beginner rope, you know. Hey, this is my first rope. And I should be right hand for a glove, but you don't always have to use a glove. I thought it was a thing everybody has. Um So I haven't roped in a while. <laughs> I will tell you that. I may have forgotten a little. This rope is a little shaggy, so uh, let me drag the coils back up. This, this is what you call the loop right here, okay? Oh, God, I'm forgetting everything. Okay, you want, want to have, like, yay big, have, have your, here, I'll teach you how to coil first. Okay, we we'll learn how to coil first. Sorry, I haven't roped in a long time. I know... We're doing goat roping this summer, so say however big you want it. You can have it, like, if you're chicken roping, you know, you can have it like that little. Like, you don't have to have a rope for, you don't have to have clothes for chicken roping. You know, you can just play, play hand it. Um, and then you want, for like cattle and stuff, like if you're branding or going on a cattle drive, it, it kind of depends, I guess, uh, I don't know, like the average coal size, like A, you know, yeah, average. Then you just want to do the same thing. You want to have one coil, and then you want to do the same thing. This rope right here, you take it, and you go like that. Okay, I need to explain to you guys, because this and that. Um, I don't know how to explain it, really. I'm kind of dumb. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so, this right here. This is going to be the back end. And this part right here. We want to take it like this. And we want to go like that. Just turn it around. And then push down. And then it should make that second coil. And then just repeat the process. Sorry if you guys don't understand. I'll, I'll do an explana explanation for beginners. And my coils are trash because... I haven't roped in a while. My coils used to be godly. Now they're not. Also, because this rope is just a, just a twig rope, just a tiny thing. And for the coils, you want to have like nay big rope like this, and then take this part right here and loop it like that under. Okay, I'm gonna demonstrate right here. I'm gonna take this little piece, that little piece right there. I'm gonna hold that. Or you can take your two fingers like a butterfly, swing that around, and then that's not big enough, so swing it around again. This is gonna be the Honda, or the Honda, however you say it. And then you just swing like this. See, this is a coil. And basically, if you wanna throw farther for um, long distance roping, like steer wrestling, I don't know if they, they don't rope for steer wrestling, they just wrestle them to the ground. <laughs> Uh, if a goat, like, freak goat roping, if you're, say the goat's, like, over there, you know, say the goat's, like, over there, and you're right here, like, you're right here, the goat's way over there, you can do this, just grab the loop, like this, and you just swing it, 
Well, you want to keep your tip down. Sorry. I'm kind of forgetting. Uh, you want to keep your tip down like that. And then you want to and you want to swing and follow through. So basically following through. I know I'm not doing the best of explaining on how to. I know it should be a lot better, but I'm still learning too, you know. I don't have that 30 years of experience. I haven't roped for my whole life. I've only been roping for like maybe three years. I should be a lot better, but I haven't roped in a while, and I'm sorry if I'm not doing the best explaining. But, uh, let's see. This is really droopy loop right here. Uh, this is good for like long distance roping. This this rope right here, this is droopy, and you know, and I forgot how to do the hula hand. Uh, it's like I did it in the California days, did it in Hawaii, and actually I will tell you something. You may think that Americans started roping, but no. Hear me out. It was either the, yeah, it was the Mexicans. They rolled their damn burrows down to Hawaii. They taught the cowboys how to rope. And it, it's obviously, it's come a long way. And they took their burrows down. They're like, hey, I'm going to teach you how to rope. So you can, and it was a big thing. Huge, humongous. Now everybody knows how to do it. Not everybody, not everybody but pretty much, let's just say a lot of people. And sorry, it's like 30 degrees out here. But I'm still doing the video because I have balls. I'm no, just kidding. Little balls. Whoa, whoa. Sorry, I'm being a little weird, but uh, there and there you have it. However big you want, then you could tip down, swing it. Follow through, and then once you're like tie down, tying down calves for branding, and or when you're doing team roping, you know there's two. They so ho two horses, two people on horses. Uh, there, there's like two shoes right here. You know they come, they're narrow, and they come through, and then there could be a calf, it could be a steer. They have these little things on their horns, like straps. I don't know what they're called. Uh, and they rope them, and they go really fast, you know, and they go, and they swing it, and they pull back, and that basically, you just want to, you just want to swing as fast as you can, just, just have it like that, split second, right as that cab gets out, or that steer, just swing it, swing your, swing, you, you have time, but it, it's more about the fastest time, and you just want to be there, quick. And just boom, boom. And you could, you want to throw your loop out, and make a loop. You want to throw your loop out, <clears throat> then you want to go goaded, basically what you have. Uh, and then to make, oh my god, I forgot. Okay, to make extra loop, like coil, uh, it would be like this extra string right here. Like, it, you could unravel the coils and make it longer if you want. Uh, uh, this part right here is like the Honda. Right here, loop. And you could take this part, and then it would be like a coil. You could string that through. And this part right here, you want to have the, you have, have a hold of that. But you also want to have, like, yay or nay, you know, size ropes. Size a string up left so you could so you could basically rope and have some more extra length because if you're roping with a coil that small the calf how the hell are you gonna get the thing so that's uh, just, just for extraticity you wanna have extra rope and if you wanna want to you can let go like say you're roping and the calf is what sorry I messed up say you're roping god damn it. say you're roping and the calf is way out there. You let the coil out. And you only have one coil left. Way out there. You still made it. That's an important thing too. Very important. 
uh, wanna, you just wanna, it takes, I, it's not just a snappy thing. Roping takes a long hell of a while, okay? This, this isn't just a snappy sport like, oh, I'm a, I'm a 200 pound lineman, I'm naturally born for football, it's not like that. You're not naturally born a roper, you still have to learn, you know, like, Cowgirls and you know Mexicans they didn't naturally become a roper. They they practice, you know, and it takes a lot of practice. But I get that, you know, some people are naturally born ropers. And I I don't believe that sense because if you're naturally born at something, how how are you gonna tell someone what to do when you haven't had the practice when you're just naturally born at it? That's why I think it's an ethic. You want to have practice. You want to have cowboy ethics. Practice, you know, teamwork, hard work, late, no laziness. I know, I know I don't live on the big-ass ranch. I just live somewhere out of town, you know, just average guy. But I work for my, uh, work for this lady's ranch, Rachel. Uh, I'm going to, me and my brother are going to be a ranch hand for her. We're going to help, help out on a ranch somewhere in Somewhere in Upton, I don't know where, it's like the middle, I don't remember what the two towns are called. It's a nice place, I'll tell you that. And, uh, finally my coils are good. I'm finally learning. And I'm still learning, you know, roping isn't just snappy thing you can just go out and do instantly. It's, it takes practice, I will tell you that. And you know, there's some guys out here that have been... You know, my, my brother's friend's dad taught me how to rope. And I'm still practicing on it. It's, it's a fun thing. Once you learn it, I know it's frustrating at first because you're like, wow. You thought this would be easy, but no. No. That's what I thought at first. I thought it'd be easy. Hell nah. Hell nah. Not at all, bro. It's not just a snappy thing, like I said. So that's about it, and it's uh, sorry, it's cold out here. It's uh, I can't think. You know, practice makes perfect. It's uh, obviously it doesn't naturally come. It's most people's there. Morning, she had. I'm a natural born rover. I was a cool girl in our grade. I don't like her. She's a, say a B word. Uh, she, you know, we we always have those people when they think they can accomplish something that they're better than everybody, but we can accomplish stuff too. You know, like education takes a lot of work too. You don't just go and do one work and expect to get an A on it. You have to put in the work and put in the hours. And it takes many hours of your life for school. And it takes many hours of your life for working. And that's why jobs are a very important thing in our agriculture. Like uh, vet science, you know. Uh, uh, people think it's just... my god sorry it's kind of cringy bro uh oh my god i keep forgetting bro how do i forget okay for one last thing sorry uh one last thing you want to have a loop extra so so you don't just god quit no one you don't just want to have i just want to have a tiny little loop like I did, I messed up. Sorry. I just want to have a tiny little loop. You have to do it extra, okay? I want to have an extra loop in that coil. Can you see the loop? Can you see the loop? Can you really? You really can't, because I want to have an extra loop. God damn it, quick. You want to have 
trying to make a video, bro. You want to have an extra loop right here. Goes together, and then once you're ready to rope, just pull the sucker out. Near, right there, right there. You don't have to make a loop. You're right there, okay? And, uh, you know, like the, I think, there's like this thing called the butterfly. You go around your waist and do all these cool moves and shit. I can't do that. I want to do it someday, and I will, because it takes work. It takes, uh, takes a lot of work. So, yeah. I also have a very thick leather rope. I'll go show you guys that. So, I go back to my house. If I can make it. This is our dog fence right there. There's Pete. Uh, you guys can't see him, but... Cash! Cash is our uh, blue healer. He helps out. I've always wanted to live on a ranch. I mean, it's it's most people's dreams, I'll say that. Nobody wants to live in the city. I'm a wicked over. I'm making fun of people, but I'm just saying, city isn't that fun. Yo, we got Charlie watching Heartland. Yo, she's watching Heartland. Let's go. That's how loyal we are to the ranching community. <laughs> we watching Heartland, bro. Teenage room. Hello? Who is this man? This legally blind man. Oh my god. Take you long enough, bud. In my cowboy hat. She's a straw hat, but she is looking kind of sexy. Sorry, I got a double team, bro. I don't even care. Quit! I got that fatty double team, bro. Look at that fatty. Pure muscle, though. I'm kidding. Real fat boy, chubby boy. This is my, uh, this is my work shirt right here. I can put it on for you guys. Eh, yeah, I don't want to. Oh my god. Quit! Alright, fine. I gotta play Fortnite with this kid. Bye. Oh, I have a guitar too. I have some little beef for you guys, real quick. Fuck. Sorry, cuss. Here. There we go. Bro. I'm getting better at guitar too. I will tell you that. Just close to playing Sweet Home Alabama. I right, see you guys later.